Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Blue. In this episode, uh, we're going in Mount Moon with no repels. No repels whatsoever. We cannot buy them yet, so this is gonna suck. Okay, so what I plan on doing is cutting out any random account. Screw you. As I was saying, I'm gonna be cutting out any random encounters from here on out, okay? Okay. So it won't be painful for you guys to watch. It's just, yeah, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? I mean, well, if you... If you look at a silent protagonist as being suspicious, then I guess I am. I don't know. Eh, whatever, just another bug catcher. I have a flying type. You're dead. <laughs> GG, excuse me. Critical hit. I'm pretty sure that didn't even matter. And sorry if you hear any clicking in the background, that's actually my controller. I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. As odd as that sounds, because yes, I am using an emulator. So I pretty much have to. But I don't have it on virtual console, and even if I did, I wouldn't have a way to record 3DS stuff, or let alone DS stuff with my actual DS. So and I'm, hopefully I will in the future, but for now I'm just going to have to stick with emulators for some handhelds. And level 15. And I learned Fury Attack. That's a, that's a meh it's kind of move. It's really weak, but it can hit multiple times. And Wait, why do, why do I not have Bulbasaur out front? There's a ton of rock-type trainers in here. Or, well, a bunch of rock and ground type to be more accurate. So this would be really good for Bulbasaur, since he's two levels away from, well, until something special happens. And here's this trainer. And this trainer, I think, has a, has a Clefairy. If I actually get that right, I'm such a nerd. I'm a nerd, everybody! Who would have thought? Okay, Clefairy can be pretty annoying, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Elite Seed it, and then just use uh, Vine Whip, and that did quite a bit, honestly. Line Whip. That does barely anything. I need HP. Let's just use Growl. Lower its attack. Because it gets stabbed from Pound. Oh, wow! So I sing the song of my people, and so you sing me the song of your people. If we cancel each other out. Not really, but uh, I'm just being stupid at this point. Just keep using Growl. Keep throwing music notes at it and lowering its attacks. I'm oh no. No 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 no. You are not gonna hit me with sing. Hell to the frickin' no. You are not hitting me with sing. The sleep status in Gen 1 is so stupid. As you guys have already seen in episode one, I think. Oh not episode one, in a previous episode. Which I haven't uploaded yet as of recording. And it should be dead after this. Uh, no, not dead. Just tackle. Don't miss. Thank you. And level 15. Just one more level until something special happens. I lost? Yeah, well, what did you think? I've been playing Pokemon for 17 years. Okay, uh, Jerkish Trainer Placement. Thank you. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Well, that's how caves usually work, my dear. Oddish, that- whoa. Oddish looks really weird in Gen 1. Damn, you cannot- you cannot leap seed grass types, just letting you know that right now. So I guess I might as well descend in Spear, because it's Grass and Poison type, so it four times resists my Bulbasaur's main stab. And it just, well, it tried to use Absorb on it. Peck it to death. And not rip. Let's try out Fury Pack. Damn. 
and Bellsprout. <laughs> I don't know, just Bellsprout's face just looks really funny. It is really not poor defensive, so it should go down. Yep. We did another last. Oh, I lost it! Yeah, okay. What did you never mind? Uh, I'm just being stupid at this point. Am I supposed to go down this ladder? Although there is, there will be one encounter I'm not going to cut out because there is a Pokemon in here that I want to catch. Not for my team, but as an HM slave. So ever so, I'm, I'm just going to keep cutting away encounters until I eventually find it. And this is TM01. I don't know what that is. What is that? Well, TM34 is Bide. I'm don't. I have no use for this TM. So, and wait. No, I'm gonna sell it next time I go to a Pokemon. So, what's TM01? Mega Punch. Well, I don't have any Pokemon that can learn it unless Spearow can somehow pull it off with its feet. It's pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Don't tell me what. Do. I'm the protect. Um, he has a whip. So, um, I don't think I should be talk. I should be talking like that to someone who has a whip, or else I'm gonna get whipped, like whipped cream. Or cool whip. A cool whip. Do that. Uh, just Raven. Flying type versus flying type. Leech life. You know what's funny? Leech Life was such a terrible move in the older Pokemon games, but in Generation 7, it got buffed from like, what, 15 or 20 base power to a whopping 80 base power. <laughs> That's insane. Leech Seed is so- I mean, not Leech Seed, Leech Life is such, is such a good move in Gen 7. Because of that huge buff it got. So bug types have a more reliable recovery move now, which I really like, because I really like bug types. Not so much in the Gen 1 and 2, but Gen, Gen 5 is what really got me interested in the bump type. Definitely, for sure. Can I land all five of these? Nope, I only hit two. Okay, whatever floats your boat, Spiro. Come on, hit two. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you are good. Yes, I am good. An ether. I don't know, I just felt that there's a hidden item in there, and my senses were correct. Alright, uh, eh. I'm, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure this painter is required, but I guess I might as well show it. Youngster wants to fight. Or Tata. Let's do the thickums. It does like nothing. Lol. Get rectified. Never mind. Didn't one shot. Whoa, that was really weird. Don't know what that slowdown was for. And another Rattata. I know. No, I might as well just send out Spear around because I don't want Bulbasaur to take too much damage, even though I want him to level up really badly. Fury attack and quick attack. That shouldn't do too much. Okay, good. Raven! Come on. You're named after my favorite character from Team Titans. Not Team Titans Go. Team Titans Go is horrible. I mean, no offense if you like the show, but for me, no. Teen, Titan, Teen Titans Go just ruined it for me, honestly. That show was so- the original was, all, was always the best. And it always will be. Let's just be real here. And you ain't having a third one with a third one knock it out? Nope. Ooh, nice, I landed four. It was 16. Losing stinks. Yeah, it sure does. I think this is a rock type trainer. 
Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. What? Did you just assume my age? Well, for your information, I'm 10. So shut up. I was I would reenact that one vine, but trying to keep this channel kid well family friendly, even though well I try my best not to curse, but sometimes it, a curse word or two may slip out, as you can probably tell from episode one where I dropped the S and the B word. Anyway, <gasps> level sixteen. Let's see it. Well, after this battle, it'll be here. He just has, like, three Geodudes, I think, so... Yep, no match for my Bulbasaur. G frickin' G. Oh, oh, an Onyx! Excuse me! From... Well, either way, you're dead. Rip up, oh, critical hit. I think that, what, left? That's like, what, times 12 damage, I think? I don't know. Alright. And... What? Pick'ems is evolving! Pick'ems evolved into Ivysaur! So here's our first case of Pokémon Evolution. When a Pokémon evolves, not only do they change in appearance, but they also get better stats. And for Bulbasaur's case, he now stands upright for some reason, and his back sprite looks really weird. And a Moonstone. A Moonstone can be used to evolve Jigglypuff into Wigglypuff and Nidorino and Needle or Need yeah or Nidorino into Needle King, Nidorina into Needle Queen, or Clefairy into Clefable. Here we have another. Rocket Grunt. Raticate. You hacker. Rattata evolves on level 18, not 16. You hacker. I'm reporting you to the cyber police. Not like any well, whatever. Then again, Lance has like has three under level Dragonites. So and this Raticate's doing way too much damage, so I'm gonna leave it. Never mind. Uh, this is bad. This is really freaking bad. Oh god. No, don't tell me. Huh. Well, that just happened. Okay, I'll see you guys back in that same spot once I get back there. Oh, and I found the thing I was looking for. This is a pair. If I'm not catching this for my team, I'm just catching it for an HM slave. Pokeball. It should catch. Never mind, it didn't. I guess he doesn't want to be turned into a slave. On, get in the ball! Come on, you know you want to be a slave. Thank you. Pair with the mushroom Pokemon. Burrows is the suck tree root. The mushrooms on his back row by drawing nutrients from the bug host. So, yep, this is my HM slave. I don't recommend using this on your team at all because bug and grass is not a good typing. It has a four times weakness to flying and um, fire. So GG if, that, if you have that thing, fight a Charizard. And it's, it's stashes aren't really good in general. Okay, I'll, now I'll see you guys back to where I was originally. Alright guys, I'm back. Gonna save right here just in case if something stupid happens again. Yeah, thick comes out in the front. Come at me, bro. Yo. 
your rat versus my frog dinosaur thing. I don't know. Oh my god. Got so lucky with that crit. Uh, okay, I will. I would use ground, but hmm. except you know when you land a critical hit, any stat changes are ignored, even some stat debuffs on the foe. Well, at least I think that's how it works. So. Uh, Vine whip. Actually, you know what? Go out there, slave. Do what you can. Hyper Fang. Oh, rest in peace. Uh, Raven. Let's see what if you can do anything. Peck. Peck. Mom. Beat this Raticate. Tail Whip, that's not good. Oh, I gotta. Aww. Oh. Full of that. I'm um, finished it off. Okay, stick him. Let's go back out to you. Hopefully, he doesn't land a critical hit. Now, watch him get a critical hit because I said it out loud. That's how the Let's Play Curse usually always goes. Radicate! Wow. His first- Ivysaur's first trainer battle since he evolved and he freaking faints. Ah. I'll see you guys back here in a minute. I am not gonna go back. I'm not gonna go through this cave without Ivysaur. I need him. Alright, guys, I'm back for like what, the third time now? Oh my god. I didn't think I would struggle this bad. Especially after my Bulbasaur evolved. Well, we're, well, we're getting close to getting out of here. Oh my god, I'm really not in the, in the best of mood right now, especially after that that crap that just happened. Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive, and sell them for cash. Sounds like a reasonable deal, to be honest. As terrible as it sounds, too. Frittata. I'm going to enjoy beating the crap out of you, especially after what your brother did to me. Of course you get a critical hit. That's how it always works. Well, attack will finish it off, it should. Yep, it was, it's a Rattata. Of course it was gonna finish off. Level 17 already, nice. And Zubat. Yes, I will change mine. Oh my god, Supersonic. Here's the confusion status. Pretty much you have a 50-50 chance to either attack the opponent or attack yourself. And right here I attacked myself and did way too much damage to myself. Come on. Okay, good. God, I hate Mount Mood. Although, there's another dungeon that's coming up that I hate even more. And this guy... Ugh. Oh, figures. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine! Well, they both look the same, so why do you want two of the same thing? Never mind. Super nerd wants to fight. Grimer! Grimer is... pretty bulky. Elite Seed it, and no, that was a crit, well. 
just use tackle. Hopefully nothing stupid happens. Sable. Aw, uh, damn it. Ugh. So now I really can't do anything to it, so I'm just gonna switch over to Raven. The Sable. Pretty good. Oh. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm fine. Just gonna fury attack you then. One down, two to go. In Voltorb. I definitely don't want Raven to fight this thing because it's an electric type. Sweet Seed, hit Screech. That lowers my defense by two stages. Oh god, that sound is honestly pretty... Um... Annoying. Quite a bit of damage, and not more Screech. Okay, fine, more ear rape for, my, for us. And he's dead. If well, critical hit, then off. It probably didn't matter anyway, because it was lower than half. By slightly. Coughing! Coughing has really good defense, and... <clears throat> I like how the skull symbol is, um, is like, on its head, or instead of, like, on its stomach. Well, or both. Does it even have a stomach? It's just like a floating head, but... Either way, what I'm trying to say was that... The skull symbol on, is on its head in this game, but it's below its mouth, and... Future games. Smog. And actually, I, hold on, I actually think that Ivy sort of resists poison. I don't think grass is weak to poison in this generation. Or at least not yet. Let's see. Come on, you, come on, you smog. You smog. Hit me with a smog. I want to see if I'm right. No, don't use tackle, use smog. For once, I'm actually asking you to hit me with something. Please, come on, I'm gonna see if I'm right. No, stop using tackle! I'm just gonna- if you- okay, fine, you're just gonna keep using tackle on- okay. Oh, yeah, you- the one time you use smog and you miss. Good job. Good job, sir. Hold on, let's put it- okay, here we go. Yeah, it's not very effective. Apparently, grass isn't weak to poison in this, in this generation. That's pretty interesting. Uh, tackle will probably do more damage than Vine Whip, even though it's... yeah, whatever. <laughs> that was a crit. Come on, let's die. Thank you. Level 18. Getting pretty high up in the levels there. Okay, and here we can actually get, pick which fossil we want. We can go with, oh, the oh-so-famous Lord Helix fossil, or the Way of the Dome fossil. Well, even though I'm all for Lord Helix and everything, I'm personally more of a fan of the Dome fossil. These won't, although these won't have a use for us for a long, long time. Like, extremely late game. And he goes ahead and picks the other one because he's mean. Okay, can we get out of here now, please? I want to get out of here. Thank you! We are out of here! And I think there's some. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, what? No, okay, well, in the remix, there are two people up here that'll teach you Mega Kick and Mega Punch, but they're not up here. And here we go. Mega Punch and Mega Kick are TMs. Anyway. Go over here, there's some grass right there for some wild Pokemon, and we are now in Cerulean City. And I know what's funny? That we're in Cerulean City, and Cerulean is a, means blue. But that's what they did in this game. Every city is named after a color. It's really clever if you ask me. 
Anyway, we finally got through Mount Moon and we made it to the next city, so I guess that'll do it for this episode, and oh god. It's almost 30 minutes looking at the timer. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely gonna be the end of it. So I will see you guys next time.